Hello everyone, we are going to see different types of user interfaces. First, form based interface. Second, command line interface. Third, menu based interface. Fourth, graphical user interface. Finally, machine language interface. In order to communicate with the system, we need to know what type of interface that we use. First is command line interface. In order to communicate with the system, the programmer must know about the commands. This type of interfaces uses disk operating system. This type of interface can only be communicated with the commands. So, those who are not aware of command line interface will be very confusing to use. So, this type of interface will occupy less number of memory and less processing power. Next is your graphical user interface. This type of interfaces uses keyboard, mouse, printer and all the devices that has been attached to the computer. And it also uses WIM as an interface. W, Windows, I, Icons, M, Menus, P for Pointer. And we also say the graphical user interface as what you see is what you get. Coming to your advantages of graphical user interface, since we have BIM components, it is very easy to use even for the beginner. There is no need to memorize about the commands because it is being benefited by BIM interfaces. But it occupies more number of memory as well as more processing power. So it is very slow rather than command line interface because the command line interface will directly communicate with the operating system but the graphical interface will not directly communicate with the operating system. Third, menu based interface. Some types of ATM machines are a good example of menu driven interfaces. They also use some verbal rather than visual. Examples like word processor or spreadsheet also used in this type of interfaces. Coming to your advantages, it is extremely easy to use. Anyone can use this interface. Here again, there is no need to memorize the commands. Even if you know what you want to do, you can just guess it and go away around. But coming to your disadvantages, it is very, it may be irritating for some of the users because if there are many, many menus are being displayed in the interfaces. And it also due to be poorly designed menu interface. Next, form based interface. This is a method of enabling you to interact with an application. It asks us an information to enter the details. Once the details are being entered, it will be stored in the databases. The advantages and disadvantages. It is very easy to program. As well as it is very easy for everyone to view all the options and answer all the options. Fast to enter the data. The disadvantages only limited options are presented. Visually impaired people might have trouble seeing the text. Not good for higher complex complication or higher complex applications. Next, dialog based interfaces. This type of interfaces allows you to take the input of the spoken word. Examples, even you can use it for the cars or in the smart homes where you will be giving the command using your spoken commands. Coming to your advantages and disadvantages, it allows hands-free control. So it is also useful for physically disabled users. But the disadvantages, only limited users can use this interface. Expensive to develop. 
training session is required because it accepts only few types of commands. And when it accepts, it has to have in a position to listen your commands. At that time, you have to give your input through your commands. Guest based interface. This type of interface allows computer to capture and interpret human gestures as your commands. This type of interface allows scrolling, pinching, and tapping to operate an interface. Nowadays, in the mobile phones, we have these type of application. Advantages and disadvantages. The computer can track the movement of each eye. It can be used by some users who cannot use the input devices. Less accuracy. It needs to accurately interpret the movements made by the human user. Tracking individual finger, eyeball requires highly accurate cameras or sensors. It can be very difficult to control a pointer when a finger is in mid-air rather than firmly fixed to touch screens. Real-time video captioning. The concept lag within Roster Institute of Technology has created a novel way to convert sign language into text in real time. This type of application is really helpful for the deaf users. The final interface is your natural language interface. This type of interface allows the user to speak or type in their normal everyday language in order to interact with the computer. For example, some applications such as speech recognition software accepts the spoken words and converts them to text and sends to the computer. These applications have a much wider vocabulary than the dialogue-based interface. Dialogue-based interface has only a limited set of commands, but in the natural language interface, it accepts more than more, more and more commands, or we can say it has much wider vocabulary. So we can consider an example of a natural language interface, which makes use of written text as a chatbot. As you can see here, the advantages and disadvantages, the user does not need to be trained in how to use the interface, more flexible than a dialogue-based interface. There is no need to go for this command or that command. You can go on with the normal speech. Disadvantages. Reliability reminds an issue. This type of interface can only respond to commands that have been programmed. Highly complex to program and so only warrants this kind of interface where other types of interface are unsuitable, not widely available as other forms of interface are often superior. A voice interface might need training in order to get the software to recognize what the user is saying. 